Hi, my name <clears throat> is Cy Porter, and this tutorial is about animating one approach to animating a walk cycle. And I'm using Adobe After Effects, but the principles I'm, I'll be talking about here can be applied to Flash or a lot of uh, software that uses keying to animate. <clears throat> the principles are the same. I'll just show you how to what you want to look for in walking that you can animate using keyframes. So right here I have the okay here I have the woman layer you can see as I turn it on and off it what it is in the picture and then I have the background here so the background is just a an image it's a um, Photoshop image and what I've done is I recorded walking the the sound of footsteps walking and you can hear that there it's just quietly walking so what I've done is in After Effects what you can do now if here's the sound wave here the sound of the walking if you hit L twice LL it'll show just the waveform and then you can go through and find the sound of each step you can do that by looking at the waveform and also on your numbers pad if you hit the dot or the period <coughs> key you can do an audio preview to find out where when in the track each footstep falls and as you can see down here what I've done is I've gone over over here is a, a, a marker a little key marker and you can drag these out on the track where each foot, footstep falls so what I've done is I I go just a fraction before each footstep falls and then I drag a marker out to the this red hairline marker along the track if you push the shift key these marker markers will snap to the red hairline <clears throat> and so these here are where in the soundtrack each step falls so I've marked that out so then what I did is you can see down here I have one keyframe for where the lady starts at and then over here at the end of the track I've got the keyframe where where you can see she's going off frame here where she will end up which will be off frame because <clears throat> I want to have her walk off walk out of frame as the scene before the scene ends so I I established where she begins and where she ends and so all along the way you can see she's gonna have 10 foot falls so if you might notice here there are little dots along these lines these are each where she is during each frame and so what I'll do is I'll drag the hairline marker and by pressing the shift key it'll snap to the first one it'll snap to the one marker here so what I'll do is I'll go over here and um, this la the, this layer one is the lady here I'll go ahead and there are these three if you hit the diamond key here it'll key create a keyframe here if you go over here and hit that little diamond so I'll, I'll go here and I'll do the shift and do it again 
And actually, I'll go ahead and do the between ones too. So I'll just kind of, you know, set a keyframe at the markers and between each marker. So what I'm doing is I'm setting a keyframe where her steps are at, and I'm also setting a keyframe between each step she'll be taking. And I'll just run this through real quick. As you can see here, I'm just kind of running along, setting each keyframe. Now, as you notice, I'm setting keyframes, but I'm not I'm not moving her in each keyframe off of the path she's going in anyway. So I'm setting all these keyframes, but so far the keyframes aren't necessary to where she is moving yet. What I'm saying is that it it isn't these keyframes that I'm setting aren't changing the course that the two first keyframes would have had her take. So now, as you can see, I've got where she starts keyframe, where she ends keyframe, and <clears throat> now what I want to do. So these markers up here are the sound of her taking each step. So if you imagine what it looks like when someone's walking, when they take a step, that's when their legs are like scissors open. You know, because that's when their, their, their forward foot hits the ground. So their back foot is pushed back. Now, between each step, that's when that's like closed scissors because that's when one foot is between is <clears throat> lined up with the rest of her body moving her forward and the other foot is on its way halfway on its way to to move ahead of her to land making the next step so between each step she's a little bit taller than she is when her next step lands. She's a little bit shorter when her next step lands. If you notice, her legs aren't showing at all. This walk cycle, I'm not doing the legs. I'm just doing the upper body movement. Okay, so what you do next is you select each keyframe, not the one not the ones that are when she makes the step, but all the ones in between. So if you hold down the shift key and run through and select all these between keyframes from start to finish, <clears throat> okay, make sure they're all selected. Then hit one of these arrows to make sure that she is positioned on one of the keyframes otherwise this won't work and once the hairline marker is on one of the selected keyframes you can go to the y-axis here and move her upward now you you see what because all the keyframes are selected, we've moved all of these keyframes up a little bit at once so that every time she takes a step, she's going to lift up a little bit. So she's going to sound a step, she's going to lift as she's moving along. And that will basically animate her walk cycle. I'll show you the finished clip at the end. I make these video tutorials to get the word out about my illustrated film at solomation.com. Please, if you have a couple of minutes, uh, go check it out. Also, I make animated shorts every other week at fiddlerfred.com. 
I hope your animation goes well and have a great day.